Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interesting questions in Oracle SQL and PL SQL. Here is a very interesting question I have received from one of the subscriber. First let me explain what is the question is about, then we will see how to resolve this problem statement. So the question is, whenever we want a sequence based operation in SQL, most of the times we will be using this connect by query to just to print the sequence number. In fact, in most of the previous questions, I have used this logic to implement some real time questions. So here the question is slightly different. Instead of printing the sequence number, we need to print the multiplication of the value. For example, suppose if we want to print a sequence number from 1 to 5, normally we will write a query something like this. Select level from dual, connect by level less than or equal to 5. So basically this query will return as the output from 1 to 5, something like this. But the expectation here is, instead of printing 1 to 5, we just need to print the multiplication of all these values. For example, 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So the expected output is 120 in this case. Fine. First, I will write and show you the query. Then I will explain you how the query is working. First, let us write a query just to print a sequence number from 1 to 5. So I'm just going to write select level from dual connect by level less than or equal to 5. So basically this query will print a sequence from 1 to 5. But the expectation is we need to multiply all these 5. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to convert these string, these values basically like 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 into one single string. So the easiest option to convert is to use the list aggregation function. So let me say list ag of comma. So basically what this will return is instead of printing the values from one to five in a row wise, it just concatenate all these information and return as one single comma separated string. So instead of comma, let me put a multiplication symbol so that we will get one string, which will be something like this. one multiplied by 2, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 4, multiplied by 5. So now the expectation is this string we just need to evaluate. So we have a string which has like multiplication of some numbers. Now we need to evaluate this number. The easiest and simplest option is we can use the XML query function. So basically what the XML query function will do is it will evaluate the string and return back as the value. Let me show you how. So we'll use the XML query of this string, whatever the string, then we need to say returning, returning content. That's it. So basically what this XML query will do is it will evaluate the string and return as the value in an XML type data type. So if you click this value, you will be able to see the value as 120 here. But instead of an XML uh, type value, we can even get the number or a string type. For that, we just need to use one method called get number val. So this method will return as the number in, or it, this value will extract the number from the XML type and it will return as the value. Now let me show you the documentation. So in fact, this is the query. So these are the two main part we have used. One is the list tag basically to convert the row wise values into a multiplied symbol separated string and then I am just using the XML query to evaluate the string and I am using the get number val to extract the number from the string. So here is the quick documentation for your reference. So the first thing is like uh, XML query. So if you see clearly here, the XML query will take a string literal expression and it returns the result of x query expression. So whatever the string literal what you're going to pass here will be evaluated by the XML query and it returns the value. But the one uh, drawback here is it's not the drawback. The property of XML query function is uh, it returns the expression as an XML type. To extract the number or string out of this XML type, what we can do is we can use this methods. So in this case, I'm actually using the get number value method. So this will extract the 120 out of the uh, evaluated string and it returns the output. 
the other logic what i have used is a list aggregation in fact list aggregation i have covered in most of the previous videos but if you haven't used a list aggregation i would suggest you to watch this video this single video will give you the usage of list aggregation and its variation across all the versions of oracle if you have learned something new please like this video if you have any such interesting questions to be posted you can drop to this mail id or you can drop in the comment section thanks a lot for watching this video